Hello guys, welcome back to another codingbat.com tutorial. Today we will be doing Array 2, Exercise 2, 2. The question says, given an array of ints, return true if every 2 that appears in the array is next to another 2. In the first example here, we have um, 5 numbers. Oh, sorry, 4 numbers. And you can see all the 2s are next to each other, so we return true here. Again, all the twos are next to each other, so we return true. In the third example, although we have two twos next to each other, one of the twos is outside or disconnected, so we return false. So how can we solve this? Well, uh, we can resort to our trusty for loop for the i equals zero, zero, the beginning of the array, i is less than nums.length which is the end of the array, i++. Plus plus. So if the number we are looking at is equal to 2, then what we will do is we will create a variable called number of twos is equal to 0. And while i is less than so I'll write this all out first and then I will explain because I feel that that might be easier but if you can try to keep up There you go. So here is uh, what is happening is so um, starting from the first two we encounter, we just run through the rest of the array. If and we run through the rest of the array and if we run into any non two values, then we stop. And also if we run into the end of the array, we stop. So those are those conditions here. But as we're running through the array in the while loop, if we encounter any twos, which we are guaranteed to, because one of the conditions is if the number at i is equal to two, then we increase the number of twos and we also increase i. So this is because we don't end up running into an infinite for loop and so that we will end somewhere at the end of the array. And then, um, if the number of twos is equal to one, return false. So what does this mean? This means that we looked at one of the twos and the following numbers. So we looked at one of the twos because we encountered this one. So that means the number of twos we just encountered is equal to one, which is what happens he here. And we continue on with the rest of the array. And if we don't encounter any twos, any more twos, then the number of twos will remain as one, which means that two is disconnected. So if the number of twos remains as one, we know that that two is disconnected and therefore that not every two is next to another two. So we return false. However, if the if the array passes through this function without ever triggering this return false, then we can return true as we know that all the twos in this array is next to another two. So we try running this and we get all correct.